Hi, Linda Sessions for Linda's Take here. And this week I want to take a look at using shapes in PowerPoint to make a sign. Now you can use shapes in PowerPoint, in Word, in Excel, and it will add visual appeal to your projects. They can add visual interest to them. They can enhance the overall design of your work. Now shapes can be easily customized in Microsoft programs. And I'm going to show you some of those customizations that you can do. You can rotate them, you can make them larger, make them smaller, um, add color to them, add animation to them. You can do all sorts of different stuff. Very versatile to work with shapes. You can also add text to your shapes, which will bring more variety to your projects as well. Um, you can add the text straight into the shapes. You don't have to add an additional text box into the shape to add the text. You can add text right to the shape. And you can then align the shapes in any place in your document. In PowerPoint, you can align it to the middle, to the top, to the left, to the right. Uh, you can move it around very easily. And uh, you can add shapes on top of shapes and put them together to make new shapes. So. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can play around with it a lot. I am going to do a real basic shape uh, in PowerPoint. We'll bring it over here. This is what we're going to end up making. So you can see I just have um, a scroll shape I've added here, some arrows and a star and a heart. Um, just want to let you know that if you're taking classes, you can have your education, you can also have your family, and you're right in the middle of it. And sometimes it can seem a little overwhelming, but family is there for you. You can see I have two shapes for family and one shape for education. Um, I think family is very important in helping you achieve your education, be it in a formalized setting like college or high school, or just something that you're wanting to learn on your own. So let's go into PowerPoint and see how to create this shape. How did I do that? So this is what the final slide's going to look like. So let's go ahead and click on new slide. And I'm going to just do a blank layout. And I'm going to first add the shapes to my presentation. So to add shapes to your presentation, you're going to go to the Insert tab and choose Shapes. Now there's lots of different shapes, shapes that you can choose from. For this particular project, I'm going to include first select the five-point star shape. And that is in the Stars and Banners category right down here. And I'm going to choose the five point star. You'll notice your insertion point now just looks like a little plus sign. We can actually draw the star shape whatever size we want. So I'm just going to click with my left mouse button and drag down to create my star shape. If I want to have a particular height or width, I can use my sizing handles here to change the size, or I can up here on the shape format tab, I can tell exactly what size I want it. And for this particular one, I'm going to make it approximately three inches high and three inches wide. A lot of shapes you'll find you have this little yellow dot within your shape. That just gives you an opportunity to create the shape that you want. You can change it, make it yours. So if I click on this little yellow dot and I drag down, you can see I can change my shape. Make it fatter, make it skinnier, just by clicking on that little dot. Now, not all shapes have a dot. Some of them have more than one dot. If I want to go back to my original shape, I'm just going to come up here on my toolbar and click the undo button and click undo until I'm back to my original size shape. Now you'll notice right here on my shape format tab, I also have this edit shape option. 
If I choose this edit shape, I can actually change the shape. So if I decided maybe I wanted a different star, I can change it and change it to something different. Or I can choose edit points. Now edit points is a lot of fun as well. If I choose edit points, <clears throat> I have all these different points that I can actually click and drag on. So I can click and move this up here like that. I could move this down here, I could change this, okay. I can literally change the shape to suit my mood or to suit my project, whatever I'm doing. Again, I can click undo to move it back. Whoops, I went too many times. So if I want to make sure that I have this star in the center of my slide, now you can drag it real easily and use the guidelines as well to move it to the center. Or right here I have my align option. I can choose align. I can align center. It's going to put it in the center of my slide. Then I can align middle and it's going to put it down in the middle of my slide. So you can use the guide bars to move your objects around and place them where you want or you can use that align button or you can just click on it and drag it and move it around whatever your project needs now i'm going to add a block arrow so i'm going to come up here to the insert tab i'm going to go to shapes and here under block arrows i'm going to select the right arrow shape yeah see i've got a right arrow and a left arrow right arrow shape and I'm going to put this to the right of my star. I'm just going to make a small arrow. Um, I'm not going to worry about the size on this one but I do want it to be aligned in the middle of the slide. So I'm going to say align middle. You can see now it's in the middle of my slide. Then I want another arrow on the other side of my star. So if I already have my shape, I want to make sure it's the same size. So I could go up to insert shape and then mess with the sizes and stuff. Or I can just create a duplicate. And it's very easy to create a duplicate in PowerPoint. If I select my shape, and then on my keyboard, hold down the CTRL key, the control key, and then D, it'll duplicate my arrow. And now I have another arrow. I can move this over here and you can see my guidelines it tells me exactly when I've got everything lined up now for this arrow though I want it to face the other way I want it to go to the left so I'm going to come up here to my rotate button and I'm going to flip horizontal you see I can flip it to where it goes up and down I want it to flip horizontal because I want it on the other side of my star. Now I want to add a vertical scroll shape over here on my left. So I'm going to come back up to insert, to shape, and I'm going to come down here to um, the stars and banners, and right here is my vertical. And again, I'm going to draw it in here, and I want to make this approximately 2.6 high. So over here in the height, I'm just going to make it 2.6. And now again, I want it in the middle of my slide. On the right side, I want to enter a heart shape. So I'm going to come up here to insert shape. Down here in the basic shapes, I have a heart. And I'm going to draw a heart over here. And I want this heart, again, to be about 2.6 high. And I want it 2.6 wide. And I want it aligned in the middle of the slide. I'm going to create a duplicate of my heart shape. So I'm going to select my heart shape and then the control D. Now I have two heart shapes. 
but I want this second one just a little bit smaller than my first one. So I'm going to come up here on my sizing handles and I'm going to bring it down, make it a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to align it in the center of my heart there. So I have all of my shapes entered in to my slide. Now I'm going to add some text. To add text, it's real easy. You don't have to go to insert text box. The shape is your text box. And all I have to do is click in my shape and start typing. So I'm going to click in my star and type in me. And over here on my scroll shape, I want education. And over here in my heart, I want family. So again, all you have to do is click in the shape and then start typing. Now on the heart, make sure you've selected the smaller heart because we want our text in the smaller heart, not the larger one. Now if for some reason your text doesn't fit, you might need to resize your shape or you might need to change the size of your, your text. And it's really easy to do that. You can just double click on the text and I, you can see my floating toolbar showed up here and I could, I could change the font and the font size and everything else if I needed to. Right now, I'm just gonna leave that all white. So I've got me, education, and family here on my slide. I'm gonna add some shape effects to my work just to make it look a little different. But I want to add it all to all of them at the same time. I don't want to do it one at a time. So to do that, I'm going to select multiple shapes. How that is done is you select your first shape, hold down your shift key, select the arrow, then the heart, and then I'm going to select both of my hearts. Let go of my shift key. So now that I have all of the shapes selected, what I do next is going to happen to all of them. And what I want to do is add a shape effect. So up here on my shape format tab, I'm going to come down here to shape effects and I want the shadow effect. And I want to select, let's see which one is the one. I want the inner, inside, top left shadow. So down here under the inner, I want the inside top left. And you can see if I move my mouse over, I can see what the option would do to my slides, my shapes, what they would look like. That's my live preview. I want this inner top left, I'm gonna select that. And you can see how they all have a little bit of a depth to them now, kind of a 3D effect, if you will. Now I want to change the colors, but I want to change the colors on my individuals. So to do that first, I have to deselect everything. So I'm just going to click off. You can see I have nothing selected now. My horizontal shape, I want it to be orange. Now, <clears throat> on your shape format tab, you have two options. You have the shape styles and you have the word art styles. If I was messing with my, my text color, I would do that right up here. The shape is over here. I'm going to go to Shape Fill, and I want this one to be orange. And the star, I'm going to change that to yellow. The big heart, I want it to be red. And the little heart, I kind of want it to be pink, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the orange and I'm going to choose the orange accent to lighter 60%. For my arrows, I just want them to both be the same color, but I don't want the blue. I want a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and select both arrows and I'm going to come up here to shape fill and I'm going to come down here to the gradient colors and 
I'm just going to choose one of these. I kind of like that where it goes darker blue and then the lighter blue. Okay. Changed my colors on both of the, the arrows. Now my text. You can't read it. You don't want to leave white text on a light background because it's hard to read. I mean, this me and the star, it's really hard. We're going we're gonna to make it blue. So I'm going to double click here. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the size to 20. And I'm going to change the color. Oops. The color of my text. I'm going to change to black. And I'm going to do that on education as well. I'm going to make it 20. And black. And family. I'm going to change the size to 20 and make the text black. So now you can read the text. The last thing I want to do here is to change the background of my slide. So I'm going to come up here under the design tab. Clear over here I have format background. And so this is going to affect the background of my slide. So I'm going to choose this and you can see I have different options. I can actually make it a picture um, if I wanted to. But I'm going to do the gradient. And I just want to make sure it's blue. I want it to go from light blue to the dark blue. And that's all I need to do. I just can close this box. And now you can see I have my light blue background. So you can see this is how I made my little PowerPoint. And working with shapes. Let's come over here to this uh, the scroll shape and you can see here's that yellow dot I was telling you about. See how it changed the shape. Now the problem with this, if I was to leave it this shape, education is not all on one line. So you'd want to also make it um, a little wider so that education all fits on one line um, and do that. See on the heart shape, it doesn't have a little extra edit shape button, so we can't change that shape. But if I go to the shape format and then edit shape, you can see I can't even edit the points here on the heart shape. So not all shapes will allow you to edit how they work. Here on the scroll shape, if I go to edit shape and edit points, you can see I have lots of different points where I can edit and affect how my shape looks. The fun thing about working with shapes, oops, didn't mean to do that, about working with shapes is that you can create, excuse me, create all sorts of stuff. You can create entire scenes. Think of an Etch-a-Sketch. You know how you used to use Etch-a-Sketch to draw pictures and stuff with lines? Um, that's, you can draw complete pictures with shapes. I've had I've seen people create sunsets with trees and houses, all using shapes, putting them together. Have some fun playing with shapes. Don't be afraid to try some new ones. Um, be you. Let your personality come out. And let me know if you have done stuff with shapes. You can put it in the comments section on the YouTube channel. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to my channel, hit like on my button as well, and let me know what you think in the comment section. So have a great day. I hope wherever you are, you have some sunshine and some cool temperatures.